Away from that, the Nigerian Customs Service says it has commenced investigations into the ownership of about $8 million seized recently at Motala Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, Lagos. The Comptroller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ali, retired, made this known in Abuja as he briefed members of the House Committee investigating the under-remittance of operating surplus of some ministries, departments and agencies to the nation's consolidated revenue fund. Colonel Ali said after thorough investigations, the funds will be handed over to the anti-graft agency to perform their constitutional obligations. It was given us conditions under which the so-called Abacha loot was to be returned to Nigeria. We also find ourselves, one of us in Nigeria, and also looting, trying to, add, to loot dollars out of our own country. Was, uh, was quite unfortunate, but we, we commend you, we commend you, commend the agency for the service, for being uh, vigilant and proactive. Uh, all we can say is to urge Nigerians to cooperate with uh, customs and all other law enforcement agencies and give information as to what is happening that is not good. You see something, you say something. Uh, our men had an information that uh, some consignment of money was to be moved. And uh, fortunately, they, they, they put their own uh, uh, the men on a latch. And behold, we had a bell called uh, Narco bell driven uh, on the 16th of, uh, of uh, January, driven to the tarmac. Then there were about three commercial aircrafts on the ground. Uh, we, up to now, we are, we are still in the process of an investigation to know which of these aircraft was, were this was supposed to be loaded on. Uh, but the vehicle was intercepted on the tarmac, and uh, my, uh, the custom personnel accosted the driver and asked him. Because by right, that vehicle is not supposed to be there. There are names quite okay written on some of those uh, bundles of money. But up to this moment, we don't know whether they're fictitious or those names are real names of people. Uh, so, and then the money was counted. Uh, they are all in $100 bills. They were all counted, and uh, at the end of the day, we found uh, 8, 8 million sixty-seven thousand six hundred and twelve dollars is we are doing a preliminary investigation because by right it is not our mandate to investigate financial uh, crimes at, uh, at the airport so it is EFCC so we are only going to do the preliminary investigation put uh, the suspect and the amount, amount together and hand it over to uh, EFCC for an in-depth investigation